The reason you heard from India's uh, law and IT minister making that warning saying he could summon Mark Zuckerberg if the need arises is because over the last few days, ever since the Cambridge Analytica story broke, uh, many newspapers, publications in India have been uh, digging into any Indian links that the company has here. And uh, it's now emerged that uh, uh, Cambridge Analytica does have an Indian affiliate called Ovleno Business Intelligence. Now, this firm on its website claims that it's not only helped the BJP, which is the ruling party in India, but also the main opposition party in India, the Congress party, uh, manage many, many elections. The business uh, uh, unit of this uh, company claims that uh, it helped the BJP manage four successful election campaigns, including the 2014 general elections. There are allegations that it was also possibly in talks with the Congress for the 2019 general elections as well. And uh, with elections around the corner due next year, in fact, this is a very, very serious allegation here. Just last week, you had the Indian government also suggesting it's going to form a new panel that's going to look into controlling hate speech in the country, uh, because this is uh, not just limited to Facebook, which has some 200 million users in India, but also uh, seen across other platforms like WhatsApp and Twitter as well. And uh, we've seen various instances of minority communities being attacked because of false messages that have been circulated on social media. So that's one challenge that India has seen when it comes to social media but uh, speaking of this particular case like you said no law has been broken yet but uh, many members of the BJP are now calling for a probe to find out whether any other kind of penal offense uh, does sort of uh, apply in this particular case